What's up guys, Jade's Corner back here again. And before we get into the video, it is time, it's 2021. So if you guys are interested in these art pieces you see here, they are all now available on the store, ready for purchase. Then you guys can click the link in the description. It'll lead you right to my website where you can go to my art store straight from there, hit that tab, purchase any one of these, po any one of these posters for a limited time release from January 1st, 2021, all the way until the end of the year on December 31st. Enjoy. I put a lot of hard work and effort into making these for the 10th 10 year anniversary of Teen Wolf and I hope you guys enjoy. Also before we get into the video, I have a Patreon up now that I finished creating back in December. You guys can now go on here and watch all my full reactions of my reaction videos to Supernatural, Vampire Diaries and, and Teen Wolf. And for the Teen Wolf ones especially since YouTube has been taking them down, well more so via common MGM. All the Teen Wolf reactions are officially on Patreon as of now for good. So if you want to watch the Teen Wolf reactions, you're going to have to go on Patreon. So it's fairly simple to set up. Just go on Patreon. You can become a member today. Join the True Alpha tier for only $5. It's a very reason $5. It's a very reasonable price. And you guys can uh, check out my reactions to every episode of Teen Wolf. So hope you, hopefully you guys enjoy. I also have a Mark of Cain tier for Supernatural, all four reactions, as well as your uh, Bro Blood Brothers tier for Vampire Diaries. So hopefully you got, hopefully you guys consider joining joining Patreon, and uh, yeah, enjoy. What's up guys welcome back to jade's corner for another video and in today's video we are on episode 12 or 13 i believe it might be 12 of the fantasy fights videos and in today's video we have a very very good matchup we have demon dean winchester versus augustine vampire damon salvatore respectively from season 10 of supernatural and season 5 of the vampire diaries now if you're excited for this video make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below your thoughts also subscribe to the channel if you're interested in supernatural content as well as vampire diaries as well as team wolf and fantasy fights videos also turn on post notifications so that you're notified when i post a new video every single week daily as of 2021 and yeah with that all said let's get into it we're gonna start with damon salvatore we've never talked about damon on the, on the series before so we're gonna start with him first so damon salvatore is one of two main male protagonists of the vampire diaries along with his brother stefan he is an 178 year old vampire in the distant descendant of silas and he was one of the main antagonists of the first half of season one of the vampire diaries and currently he is a human but he was one of the most famous vampires of his time basically everybody knew about the salvatore brothers so yeah um that's pretty much damon's backstory in a nutshell and we're gonna go over his powers right now so damon's and powers so damon's powers include vampire physiology superhuman strength durability heightened senses heightened heightened agility heightened speed uh healing factor mind compulsion and immortality and he can be killed by having his heart removed or being staked through the heart or having his head being decapitated so are there so there are numerous ways to kill damon um but uh yeah he's not easy to kill because he's very very good at what he does which is killing and fighting um people who harm the 
people he's close to, he slash people he loves. So yeah, Damon's uh he, he he's pretty strong. And as an Augustine vampire, all those powers were um obviously heightened even more. He became a ripper just like his brother Stefan, and he became one of the most dangerous vampires on the show at the time of him becoming an Augustine vampire. So yeah. Um that's Damon in a nutshell from season five. Uh the second half for the most part so we're gonna get into dean winchester who we also haven't talked about on this channel yet and dean winchester goes as follows dean winchester born january 24th 1979 was a human and a hunter as well as a member of the men of letters with his brother sam and he he and his brother are members of the winchester and campbell families through his father dean is also the older brother of adam milligan Dean is also destined to be the vessel of the Archangel Michael, and he and Sam are also the surrogate sons of the late Bobby Singer. Dean is best friends with Angel Castiel, close friends with the late prophet Kevin Tran, and a reluctant ally of Crowley. Dean also has an ex-girlfriend, Lisa Braden, who he lived with for about a year when he thought Sam was in hell, and she has a child named Ben, and Dean acted as the father for an entire year, and Dean's biological child was actually an Amazon named Emma, and he is also the former apprentice of the torturer of hell, Alistair. So, yeah, and Dean is also a human as well as a former knight of hell. He was also formerly a vampire, formerly a ghost, and formerly a Jefferson Starship for all you supernatural fans who know what those specific creatures are. So yeah, that's Dean in a nutshell, but that's regular Dean. We're gonna get on to Dean when he was a Knight of Hell, which is Demon Dean right now. So um, yeah, through one of the two heroes of the show, Dean's actions have gradually become darker, ruthless, and more, more, and more and morally questionable though usually for good reasons and misunderstandings or mystical influence and he also as a knight of hell served as the secondary antagonist of season 10 in an alternate version of demon d makes a cameo in the final season of supernatural from a different universe so demon dean also known as dean mun <laughs> pun intended um we're gonna get into his powers right now so demon dean's powers goes as follows as a knight of hell he has hand-to-hand -hand hand -hand combat, he has high charisma, he's a master strategist, he has possession immunity, he has light, ma light magic sorcery, leadership skills, culinary intuition, uh, interrogation, he's an interrogation expert, he has occult expertise, which means he's very, very um, into magic, he has very, very uh, vast knowledge in, in the occult. He has very, very good marksmanship skills. He's a ta he is very, very good at tactical hunting as well as tra has, as well as having track tracking instincts and survival instincts. And as the mark and as and when he had the mark of Cain in season ten as well as season nine, which basically made him one of the most dangerous characters at the time of the show and one of the most powerful and one of the most ruthless and unforgiving merciless killers on the entire show as well the mark of cain increases the strength of its user when in connection with the first blade which dean had which made him a very 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 dangerous threat to everybody on the show at the time including the king of hell himself crowley so we're gonna get into the mark of Cain powers that Dean had once when he had the mark of Cain. So Dean has superhuman strength, superhuman stamina, superhuman speed, increased aggression, a healing factor, which is insane, probably on the level of Wolverine and Deadpool is because as we saw with Abaddon, Abaddon got her head cut off and she was able to put it back on and still survive. And the only thing that killed Abaddon and the only thing that can kill a Knight of Hell is the first blade which Dean possessed. So, yeah, if you cut off Dean's head, probably remove his heart, probably cut off all his limbs, he will find a way to put himself back together and come after you once again. So Dean was... <laughs> Dean was not to be played with when he was a demon. He has self-resurrection. As I mentioned before, he can bring himself back to life. There's no way to kill him besides using the first blade. He has telekinesis. He's immune to magic and he has nigh immortality. So with that all said, who do I think would win? Demon Dean. I mean, 
all the stuff I just listed off. What is I mean, Augustine Vampire Damon is also height has heightened aggression too, and he's very very dangerous. But Dean as a demon, what is Damon gonna do? Drain his blood and then Dean's gonna come back to life and kill him? Like, especially if he is the first blade. The first blade kills anything it touches, as far as I know from what I've seen on Supernatural. Everything that Dean was able to kill with the first blade died, never came back to life, including Knights of Hell. And we also see this when Cain, um, Cain and Abel Cain, the first murderer, uses the first blade when he became a Knight of Hell as well, handpicked by Lucifer himself. So Demon Dean takes this fight 10 out of 10. He one of the most powerful characters on the show. And little kicker, this isn't even the most powerful version of Dean in the show this is the second most powerful version of dean the most powerful version of dean that we saw on the show was in season 13 and season 14 when he was possessed by an alternate version of the archangel michael which made him top five or top 10 strongest characters of all time in the entire history of supernatural demon dean is definitely in the top 20 strongest characters of all time but when he was possessed by the archangel michael he was undoubtedly a top 10 strongest character in the entire series and they had a lot of trouble taking him out like it was bad so yeah i want to thank you guys for tuning into this video as mentioned before demon dean takes this fight damon has no chance to kill this guy whatsoever and if you guys like this video and you guys enjoy the content on the channel make sure you guys leave a like as well as comment commenting your thoughts on what you guys thought about this video also sorry i keep messing up a few times i just recorded the other fantasy fights video so my voice is kind of all over the place right now so if i messed up i apologize and subscribe to the channel if you guys like supernatural content vampire diaries content team wolf content and fantasy fights content like this also turn on post notifications so that you're notified when I post a new video every single week, daily as of 2021. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace, love, positivity as always. You guys know the motto. Enjoy the rest of your day or night wherever you are. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.